What if I told you that the fastest, most advanced aircraft ever built is no longer science fiction? That the legendary SR-72 Dark Star, an aircraft once dismissed as an unrealistic dream, is now a fully functional reality? And here's an even bigger question. How did Elon Musk, a man known for revolutionizing space travel and electric cars, become the driving force behind the next generation of hypersonic flight? For years, Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works, the division responsible for iconic aircraft like the SR-71 Blackbird and the F-117 Nighthawk, has been quietly developing a successor to the SR-71, the legendary spy plane that once ruled the skies. But unlike its predecessor, which topped out at Mach 3.3, 2,200 plus miles per hour, the SR-72 Dark Star is expected to exceed Mach 6, 4,600 plus miles per hour making it the fastest known aircraft in human history. At this speed, it can fly from New York to London in under an hour, a feat previously thought impossible for an air-breathing aircraft. However, achieving hypersonic flight is no small feat. The main challenge has always been propulsion and heat management. Traditional jet engines struggle to operate efficiently at such extreme speeds, and the intense heat generated by friction can melt conventional materials. This is where Elon Musk and SpaceX entered the picture. Lockheed Martin had been working on the SR-72 concept since the early 2000s, but despite their expertise, progress was slow due to significant technical limitations. Hypersonic flight presents enormous engineering challenges from propulsion to heat management and real-time navigation. While the idea of a Mach 6 aircraft was compelling, Existing technology struggled to meet the demands of such extreme speeds. That is, until Elon Musk and his company SpaceX entered the picture. By demonstrating groundbreaking advancements in rocket propulsion, artificial intelligence and thermal shielding, Musk's team provided key innovations that helped turn the SR-72 from a theoretical concept into a fully viable aircraft. One of the most critical breakthroughs came in propulsion. Unlike conventional jets, which rely on turbine engines that max out at supersonic speeds, the SR-72 required a propulsion system capable of sustaining flight at hypersonic velocity. The solution lay in a dual-mode ramjet, also known as a scramjet. This unique engine design allows the aircraft to take off and accelerate using a traditional turbine engine before seamlessly transitioning to a supersonic combustion ramjet at higher speeds. Once in scramjet mode, the aircraft no longer relies on moving parts like traditional jet engines. Instead, it compresses incoming air at high velocity, ignites fuel, and produces thrust at an efficiency never seen before in aviation. This eliminates the need for external boosters or complex multi-stage propulsion systems, making hypersonic flight more practical and sustainable. Another major hurdle was the intense heat generated at speeds beyond Mach 5. At Mach 6, the surface temperature of the SR-72 can exceed 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit or 1,900 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt even high-grade titanium, the metal that was used in the SR-71 Blackbird. Traditional aircraft materials simply couldn't withstand such extreme conditions for extended periods. However, SpaceX had already been tackling similar problems with its Starship program which required advanced thermal shielding to survive the brutal re-entry conditions of spaceflight. Engineers adapted these high-temperature-resistant materials, originally designed for Starship's heat shield, and integrated them into the SR-72's frame. These materials not only endure the immense heat, but also help disperse it efficiently, preventing structural failure during sustained hypersonic travel. By integrating cutting-edge advancements in propulsion, thermal shielding, and autonomous flight control, Musk and his SpaceX engineers helped solve the major barriers that had stalled the SR-72 program for years. Their expertise, originally honed in space exploration, proved to be the missing piece needed to make hypersonic flight a reality. Now, with its deployment planned for 2025, the SR-72 stands as the most advanced and fastest aircraft ever built, one that could redefine air superiority and global security for years to come. The SR-72 is not just another reconnaissance plane, it is a game-changer in modern warfare. Its combination of extreme speed, stealth, and precision strike capability makes it nearly impossible to detect or intercept with existing air defense systems. 
Traditional missile defense networks, which rely on tracking and engaging slower moving targets, would struggle to counter an aircraft that moves at Mach 6 or higher. This means the SR-72 could conduct high-speed reconnaissance missions, gathering intelligence over hostile territory within minutes and providing real-time battlefield awareness. Unlike satellites, which follow predictable orbits and can be jammed or disabled, the SR-72 offers on-demand surveillance, making it a powerful tool for military strategy. Beyond reconnaissance, the SR-72 is expected to play a crucial role in hypersonic strike missions. Its ability to reach any target on Earth within an hour makes it a formidable weapon for rapid response operations. This could include precision airstrikes against enemy command centers, mobile missile launchers, or high-value terrorist targets, all executed before adversaries have time to react. Its stealth features further enhance its effectiveness, allowing it to bypass radar detection and evade anti-aircraft defenses. Perhaps most significantly, the SR-72 could contribute to nuclear deterrence. While intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs, have long been the backbone of global deterrence strategies, they follow predictable flight paths, making them vulnerable to countermeasures. A hypersonic aircraft, however, offers a flexible and unpredictable alternative, capable of delivering a nuclear payload with unmatched speed and evasive capabilities. This raises new questions about strategic stability. Will the SR-72's deployment trigger a new arms race, with adversaries rushing to develop their own hypersonic bombers? As the world moves toward this new era of warfare, global powers must grapple with the implications of a technology that has the potential to redefine air dominance, reshape military strategy, and alter the balance of power on a global scale. As the U.S. prepares to deploy the SR-72 by 2025, rival nations are scrambling to develop their own hypersonic programs. China and Russia have already made significant advancements, with reports indicating that both countries are testing their own hypersonic missiles and aircraft. China's DFZF hypersonic glide vehicle and Russia's avant-garde system are capable of exceeding Mach 5, but neither matches the versatility and speed of the SR-72. This raises serious questions about the future of global security. If the SR-72 becomes operational, it could mark the beginning of a new arms race where hypersonic weapons become the dominant force in military strategy. Will this lead to greater deterrence or will it spark an era of faster, more unpredictable conflicts? Are we ready for the future of hypersonic warfare? With 2025 fast approaching, the SR-72 is poised to redefine the limits of aviation and military strategy. The Dark Star is no longer a mere concept, it's real. And as the world watches, one thing is clear. The speed of war is about to change forever. The only question is, are we truly ready for it?